Good morning again, everybody. This is Shirley here at Just Doing Our Best. Just a quick update on what's going on with the eggs. So in the freeze dryer, I have the uh, four trays that are filled with eggs. 30 eggs in each tray. Now the last tray, I'm going to explain why it's not eggs. This are just the uh, croutons, homemade croutons. But I will be explaining what's going on with that. That's the four trays. Today is April the 11th. It is 6.28 a.m. And uh, let's get to explaining. All right, so I'm gonna try to talk loud enough because I do have the freeze dryer running, but uh, I just wanted to explain. Okay, so the egg total for March came to 20, 27 pounds and 11 ounces. Now on April the 6th, we weighed 14 pounds, 4.6 ounces. And uh, later on that day, my mother-in-law came, or later on that morning, my mother-in-law came, and we gave her two 18 packs that came to five pounds, 0 0.4 ounces. We gave her that that day. Now, I wish somehow that uh, uh, YouTube had a timestamp on what time the video was uh, uploaded. But on April the 6th, I uploaded the video around 4.30, 5 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. So we had not even collected the eggs from April the 6th. It wasn't until later on that afternoon when we could we collected the eggs but we gave her two packs from this here so minus five pounds 0 0.4 ounces which came to a total of nine pounds 4.2 ounces so later on that evening on April the 6th my husband collected the eggs it once again came out to exactly 18 eggs to fill up the 18 pack, which came to two pounds, 8.3 ounces. And then on April the 7th, the same thing, came to two pounds, 8.6 ounces, for a total of five pounds, 6.9 ounces. My husband went to work that day on April the 8th and gave one pack to his coworker, True, and one pack to Stanley. So that's not even counted on this one, on uh, the April collection for Team Will It Grow. Okay so, okay, so that was the eggs from April the 6th and April the 7th. Now April the 8th, April the 9th, April the 10th, like I said today is April the 11th, it is only... 6.35 a.m., so we have not even collected the eggs for this morning. But since my husband gave the two pack, 18 packs away, and these, this is what we have left, I'm just going to show you. But I'm not going to write it down. I just wanted to show you all. So here again, we have 18 muddy eggs. Yes, because of all that rain, the chickens ended up uh, you know getting mud into the eggs so the first one is two pounds 8.7 ounces again 18 eggs two pounds 8.3 ounces and the last one, uh, this one's hard to close. I think we got we got huge eggs in there, so or one huge egg in there. I think it's a double yoker. I don't know, maybe not even this. I don't know, but the eggs are big. The eggs are big. And that came to two pounds, nine point two ounces. So that is the update so far, and once again, 
I'm not going to uh, add that as of yet. I'm going to go ahead and collect today's eggs, April the 11th, and tomorrow's eggs, April the 12th. And then, once again, I will put that into the freeze dryer. But just a quick little update, guys. Troublemakers up to again. Kids, I tell you what.
Okay, let's see what's going on with the plants that we planted in the cups on April the 6th. Now, I don't see any sprouts on most of them, but on the okra, so the okra is coming out already. So far, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and spray these things, spray these down, give it a little water. The tomatoes are coming up real nice too. I'm gonna have a bunch of tomatoes. And these are the big boy tomatoes. And the new bok choy that I planted are coming up just nicely. And we'll have to thin them out. But they're doing good. They're coming up nicely. And this is the the ones that I planted uh, about a, it's about a, been about a month, month and a half ago. Stems are getting big on a few of them. Okay. Here, I got this one with uh, a few more tomatoes coming out, but I also planted the uh, oriental beans in here so that will be popping up anytime soon let's check out the strawberries and we've got another strawberry and nope I'm not weighing it it's going straight into my mouth got a few more coming out Looking good, y'all. Looking good. Oh, I see my husband put three more in here. Cool. So we saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace 
and they just uh, wanted these things removed from their place and it was free. So we took advantage of it. I mean, hey, it's free, right? My husband knows how to clean that up and we've got more on this side. Makes for a good um, barbecue pit, I would say. Got different sizes. So we do plan on um, making like an outside kitchen. Make good use of these blocks and bricks. Okay, now right here, my husband dug a hole here in this big, huge pile of dirt here. Um, we plan on, you know, storing the, he's going to build something so we can store the potatoes and what is it called again, y'all? Y'all let me know. I, f I forgot what it's called. Put it down in the comments, please. Yeah, he's just, so he, we're just going to build a little something just to put uh, potatoes in and, and all that. But we do plan on making it a, a long one, you know, pretty long. It can also serve as a, you know, tornado shelter or something like that, storm shelter. And uh, that's the plan so far. Now, here he is uh, digging it out. Digging out a root cellar. My man is hard at work. Okay, now here, like I've said before, I love yard sales. We both love yard sales. Get can get some things cheap. And my husband is a he's a handyman. He likes to take advantage of uh, things that are cheap, and you know he he's a he can fix things up. So he has um, he can do electrical work. He can do uh, mechanics, car mechanics, small engine mechanics also uh, appliances uh, he fixes cars he works with wood so he can do carpent carpentry work and uh, masonry work but anyways this one here this diesel tank here oops, zoom it in I don't want to go in there because the the mud I know it's still kind of wet so I and I don't want to sink down but that we got for $75. It's not leaking or anything. As a matter of fact, when we got it, it still had about 35 gallons of diesel in it. We got it for $75. This couple was moving out of state. And uh, they just wanted to get rid of it. And it came with the pump. My husband tested it. The pump is good. Still works. So he just bought some rust oleum and painted it. And uh, that one, I think he got that for $30. That one right there, he got that for $30. And it's, it, I think he said this one may be leaking in the bottom. He's going to have to uh, check it out, maybe do some uh, welding and all. And uh, yeah, he does welding too. So we can make good use of that. Alright, now let's take a walk back up the hill. Oh, 
Oh, got a lot of pine, pine straws everywhere. There's the pond. So we're just going up the hill right now. The ducks are right there in the house. Hi duckies! Hi duckies! Okay, now this land actually goes, um, so it's 20 acres and behind those woods there is uh, about seven acres of winding stream. That's an apple tree. I think we, it was like three years ago that we planted it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's not growing. I do not know. Probably need to do some research on it. But it's too late to dig up and plant somewhere else. But anyways, that's towards the end of the property. Not, actually, no, not even towards the end. Because like I said, it's a 20 acre, so it still goes a little ways back. <laughs> Down that way. Whew. Sorry guys, it's still cold. And I'm out here trying to make a video. But here we go. Let's continue on. You're all right. You're all right. You're okay. You're okay. These ducks, I swear. I mean, they were still ducklings. They eat out of my hands and follow us around. Now they're like strangers. So here's the bottom of the the field. It's April, so the grass is growing back again. I'm gonna need to do some uh, some yard work around here. So far, it's okay. So that tree right there, that has the that little deer feeder thing that my husband put up. So he puts corn in there. And the deer like to hang around this area, this grassy patch here. They hang around there and, you know, play, frolic around. One day I'll bring you out there to the back. Right now it's still, you know, when we had that, that bunch of rain coming down, it's still muddy down there. Which is one reason why my husband can't bush hog right now. Or else, you know, it's going to sink. Get stuck. Where's the ducks? Where's that pond y'all been looking at? The chicken house. The house. The garden. The pond is right here. So we are going to also get a uh, pond eye. And we're going to put uh, some in the pond. Um, they say it's good for the pond to allow light to go in. And the grass that's growing there in the bottom of the pond, um, I guess, to grow. Yo, I really, we really don't know these things. We're just a... Uh, you know, still learning. We're still learning because back home we don't have ponds like this. We live on an island. Nobody has a pond. You know, if we want to go swimming or fishing, 
we go to the beach. Hmm. So we're still learning if there's any tips y'all can give us. Uh, it sure would be appreciated. Let's continue on our little, our little journey. Oh, poor baby. I, be, I bet they've really been going after her. It is that time of the year where they start, uh, you know, humping. Okay, so here we are at the pond garden. Just a little one. Those are the strawberries. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Oh yeah, I do need to put more pine straws, but so far it's looking good. As a matter of fact, as you can see right there, I do have a strawberry coming out. It looks like it's starting to turn red. And there's two more. I see two more growing. I don't know, can we? Oop, there's too much. Let's see. Can you all see those two strawberries growing there? And one on that side. Yep. All right, so that's one. And the other one is right here. Let's see how that's doing. That's still doing good. I do need to put more uh, pine straws on this one, definitely. But as you can see, it is not uh, dying or anything like that. I'm going to put more pine straws on it just to raise it up a little. I plan on doing one on a bigger scale. Um... I'm not sure when though, but I will bring you all along for that. The water is actually pretty clear. I do have a lot of pollen floating, pollen and some, you know, dead grass of course. But the pond is actually pretty clear. On the back side, it goes down about 12 feet deep. There's that brick I tied the... I tied the uh, floating guard into. But as you can see, it's pretty clear. I can see... I can see down pretty much. <coughs> Let's see if we can spot the little fishies. Came out yesterday afternoon and saw a lot of uh, baby fish, the fries. Oh, there they are, but they're in the deeper area. I'm trying to see if there's something up close where y'all can see it. I don't think I don't think you'll be able to see. Oh, there's a big bass. Shoot. I hope I caught at least a glimpse of it. Yeah, so we got bass and brim. The brim is actually what we're using in the greenhouse uh, aquarium for the uh, aquaponic system. This paddle boat, we got to get this. My husband thought he brought it out far enough or brought it far enough out when the water had receded. But eventually he didn't. Either that or somehow rode back 
into the water. But uh, we will be dragging this out a little further up this hill here. I'll be using that when we put the pond dye in. You know, so I can spread some dye there in the middle. Plus, I also need it to haul the uh, big um, floating garden out to the pond. Oh. All right. Thank you all for coming. Okay, so before I feed the fish, I'm hoping y'all can see them. Let me see if I can zoom in, if you're able to see them. I hope y'all are. The sun is right on the camera lens, so I can't tell if they are showing up. But, oh, yes, yes, I do see it. Okay. There you go. And just breaking up some bread here. Oh, there's a bass. Oops. up here. Now we've also got a bunch of turtles. Uh, the, dirt, the turtles will come around. I'm trying not to move the camera too much y'all. Y'all see the fish? Oh, let me grab some more bread. Hey, fishy, fishy! Can you see that there's a bunch of them? Now we only have brass and... Oh, there's a turtle. Oh. He went under. <laughs> so when we first bought this land, the pond was just real, was really small. There's a turtle. Oop. Where's his head? Oh, he's one sticking his head up somewhere. I can't see the lens. Oh, but there's there's one right there. So we got a bunch of turtles in here also. But
Okay. All right. I tell you what, these ducks have a nest box, but they just want to lay their egg any eggs any everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. Let me zoom back out of this. Well, that can go into the weights again. That will be uh, duck eggs. I guess I will separate it, but. Uh, I don't scramble these or fry it or anything like that. For the duck eggs, I only use it for uh, baking. Oh, my oriental long beans are... I think there's another name that they call it. Asparagus. Asparagus yard long beans. Basically the same thing. Okay, this one here is just a pile of dirt, and that one also. The reason why I'm not planting anything in these is because uh, as the potatoes grow, they do need uh, more dirt in them, so I'm just saving this for, for that. Remember when I had all that, uh, when we had all that wood delivered, we had three truckloads, dump truckloads full of uh, the oak wood. So we've been chopping away at it a little at a time. We don't have a log splitter. Wish we did. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we should invest in one, right? We are getting old er. So... That would work. And it will make a, our job a, a whole lot easier. But yeah, three uh, dump trucks. Three dump trucks of um, oak wood. Check it out, check it out. While you were... Going around, maybe uh, we'll find more eggs. But that's where we've been stacking it. So, I do not remember whose channel that was, but they said that there's a certain way to stack the logs. We're probably doing it wrong, but hey, we're just doing our best. At least we got wood. And my husband does keep it covered. Well, most of it. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to finish up the rest so we can get it, um, you know, start getting it uh, cured, seasoned for the next winter. Let me take you around my uh, my jungle yard here. <coughs> Show you some things that would probably bring some ideas to you. So, you know those things that I'm planting the potatoes in, those white containers and all? Those were actually the 55-gallon containers. Now, when I was working at hospital, um... We were good friends with one of the with the maintenance uh, manager, and he heard that we were uh, in the market of um, getting some 55 drums, 55 gallon drums, and he said, "Hey, you know, we just throw those drums away, so you're we're welcome to take as much as you want, take all you want." Uh, they just throw it away. So, we took him. My husband uh, cut him in half. That's what we're growing a lot of the plants in. We also have uh, used it to um, fill up with uh, fuel. 
and bought a pump over at Tractor Supply. I think it was $57 if I remember right, about $57. And we painted it. So that's what we're using for um, stored fuel. Now I know if we don't put any of the, uh, what is it called, these uh, additives, it'll only last about three months, which is fine because uh, the price of fuel seems to be going up now. And uh, so we are using it up. In other words, we bought it cheaper than it is right now. And also another great bargain, not really a bargain because uh, these pallets here, we got these pallets for free. Over at the uh, local power plant, you know, they have uh, deliveries of spools of wire and I don't know what else, but uh, their yard was starting to fill up with pallets. So they put it out on the community, on the community page of uh, the local newspaper, saying whoever wants pallets, come and get it. It's free. So, <clears throat> of course, there was a, a line of people getting uh, pallets. So, uh, but we did manage to get some. As a matter of fact, some of them we've used inside the chicken house, because when it rains and it pours. It gets real muddy in there, so that explains, um, you know, the the mud on the chicken, on the chicken eggs. But free pallets, guys. There's a lot of uses for pallets. I've seen people make houses with pallets and all kinds of things. Actually, I mean, you'll find it all over on YouTube. Wee doggy, look at this mel of a head back here. Yep. Mm. Starting to look like a junkyard here. But okay, this uh, telephone pole here, this power pole, it was, I believe, about three years ago when we had that, uh, we had a, we had an ice storm. About three, three and a half years ago, something like that. We had an ice storm, and um, somehow this, power pole here was leaning and um, the power crew just uh, removed it and it was actually just right outside here out of our drive-in our driveway and um, you know they came knocking on our door and said hey do you want this and my husband of course um, said let's go let's take it so they just uh, dropped it in here. As you can see, it's pretty long. Yep. So, got that for free. Now this here, my husband's going to do a little welding work. Yes, we have a whole bunch of projects, but y'all, my husband works 13 hours a day and I don't blame him at all if he wants to come home and just relax on you know one of his days off and um, it's not like we're renting the land we own the land right out um, you know so hey we can do what we want we're out here and we're out here in the in the sticks so Ain't nobody gonna tell us what to do with our on our land, right? <coughs> okay, but anyways, so ouch, dang it! I stepped on that little bugger. You crazy son of a somebody! But oh, ooh, I tell you what, that hurt. But uh, anyways, that's that's it. I don't know what he's going to do with this. But he likes to take advantage of these uh, these things that they either give away for free or, you know, he can find it uh, cheap. And uh, who, who knows, maybe, maybe one day, you know, when the S hits the F, he may uh, um, 
use it for something uh, useful. I mean, who knows? But one of the ideas that uh, we had was uh, to bury it, you know, uh, as a, 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 ca a cache. You know, put some uh, bullets and food and water and things like that and uh, bury it in a, you know, secu uh, secure place where no one but me and him knows about it. But that's an idea. So, oh yeah, we got all this. So this is that awning that we purchased. Now, when I, I think it was about maybe six months ago, I forgot to roll it back in and the wind, you know, blew it and I don't know, it's it's all, uh, so the bars are crooked and everything. Mm-hmm. That one, we use that to grow uh, tomatoes on. No, I'm sorry, not tomatoes, uh, cucumbers. We just let the cucumbers crawl on it. And it, I've, I will be using that again. So I just need to uh, bring it out. Uh, right now the plants are still too small. But when we have another uh, beautiful day and we're able to get those things out, we're going to go ahead and uh, set that up, get it ready for the, uh, what's it called, for the tomato, cucumbers, cucumbers, tomatoes, whatever, a anything, you know, for it to crawl up on. All right, just came back from checking the mail outside. And you see the stop sign here? Got this at an auction, paid $12 for it. I want it at $12. And I li I like it here, you know, right in front of the gate. So I got that for $12. And then this sign up here, which is solar and it lights up at night. Uh, gosh, I don't even remember what I got that for. But yeah, yard sales, auctions, um, you can find deals everywhere. Facebook, uh, marketplace, things like that, you can find deals. So y'all take advantage of it. I see the wind blew the cover off the, the water, um, water catchment system but yeah so we've got four IBC totes each of them is a uh, 275 gallons and my husband did that first flush thing I don't know how to explain it maybe he he can explain it one day but we've got uh, a few more of these IBC totes that he is uh, also going to uh, use as a water catchment system and uh, put it somewhere else other than right here where you know it shows right out there in the road okay okay we're back into the house just wanted to weigh that one duck egg that I found Whoop, whoop. Stay. Okay, 2.6 ounces. I'm going to use that for baking. Y'all excuse these um, batteries here. So the camera battery was getting uh, low. It actually died. And just wanted to show y'all something. We got this. Uh, I don't remember where, but yeah, we went cheap this day and tried to just open it this morning to put new uh, um, batteries in this camera right now, and none of them worked. 
So I had to bring out the big guns, which is that one, the Energizer. Hold up. It's open, and I don't want it to spill out. So I had to bring out the, the big guns. No, I'm not affiliated with the Energizer or anything like that. Just uh, trying to say that sometimes going cheap is not the best. And uh, what else? Oh. So I just came back from uh, getting the mail. And let me get some scissors and cut that up. Or something. Open it. I believe this is the seeds that I ordered. Hold on. What such a big package? Such a big package for just one pack. I just ordered one pack of um, the Armenian yard-long uh, cucumbers. As you saw on my last, uh, on one of my videos, I only had one seed left. I can't believe that I. I do not know why I ended up with just one seed, but. Uh, got me some more, and there are 250 seeds in here. If I... Uh-uh, no, there's 50 seeds. There's uh, other seeds that I, I ordered also, so they will be coming in. But I will be planting this, Armenian yard-long cucumbers. If you all have never tried this, it is so good. It's crispy, it's it's huge. It's crispy, and... um, I don't get gassy. Yeah, so... I don't, it doesn't, uh, you know, upset my stomach, give me gas or anything like that. So just, just a little tidbit if, uh, if any of you eat cucumbers and, uh, you get gassy. So, yard long cucumbers. So one last thing, just wanted to give you an update on how the cabbage is doing in the container, the hanging cabbage. It's doing good, y'all. It's doing good. Oop. Getting up there real quick. I remember how small they were. When I first planted them. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. God bless you all. Love you. Thanks again to the new subscribers and for everyone who's uh, running my playlist. You all have a blessed week. And until next time, I'm out.